San Diego will have a new police chief in a little more than two weeks. And tonight, our tennis reporter Bree Steppen was there as many in the community got to air their concerns to the department's soon to be top cop. More than 100 people packed inside, ready to voice their concerns, opinions, and what they want to see in San Diego's next police chief. We women of San Diego expect the new police chief to take seriously and inv investigate all sexual assaults and to be committed to testing all of the backlog of rape kits. And we intend to persist and be around to see to it that it is done. A room filled with San Diegans telling the next police chief what they want from him when he takes over. David Nislight, currently serving as the Thank assistant you. chief of police, says he's ready to lead. I look forward to getting this job started and, and really working with the community and, you know, doing some great things. The theme of the night is accountability. Many wanted to remind him they'll be watching. From San Diego, his father was a police officer, his son's a police officer. He's done work in City Heights, so um, our community is very familiar with his work. Uh, we, we like uh, all the things that he said about community policing, but we, you know, during these hearings and during the confirmation, we just want to make sure that these are not just empty comments. But still, everyone is grateful for the chance to make their voice heard. I think it makes a big difference because it just shows how important it is for our mayor and how his priority uh, is to make sure that the community is involved and that there is participation. A lot of cities don't do this. A lot of cities don't invest in the time, energy, or cooperation with the community to have their voice. The final confirmation hearing is Monday, February 26. Reporting in downtown San Diego, Bree Steffen, 10 News.